Hi and welcome back to another video by Wondershare Recoverers. Today we're taking a look at a common and vexing issue that many computer users encounter, missing DLL files. In today's video, we'll show you how to fix those missing DLL files, but before we jump into the troubleshooting process, make sure you subscribe to our channel, leave your comments and questions down below and interact with our community. Alrighty, let's get started. You might be wondering why missing DLL errors cause such a problem in the world of computers. Well, to explain why, we've handpicked some possible reasons behind these errors. Number one is mistaken deletion, which is actually the most common reason for missing DLL errors. Sometimes we might just want to clear up some space in our computer and boom, you've accidentally deleted an important DLL file. Number two is overwriting. Occasionally when you install a new application, it has the potential to replace an existing DLL file with one that might not work well with your system or is simply incorrect. Number three, malicious software commonly referred to as malware has the potential to cause significant damage to your computer. So these are just a few of the reasons why missing DLL files can disrupt your computer's smooth operation. And now that you know some of the possible reasons behind the error, how to get your system back on track. Next, let's run through some effective methods on how you can fix missing DLL files and get your computer running smoothly again. A system restore can be an effective way to fix a lot of things and missing DLL files might be one of them. So here's how to go about system restoration to eliminate those DLL errors. Firstly, open the control panel on your computer. Search for recovery in the search box. Click on recovery from the results and choose open system restore. Follow the on-screen instructions to create a restore point and restore your system. However, if you're worried that you might lose some vital documents and can't afford to do that, you should try the next method instead. If you're looking to address missing DLL files or fix corruption errors on your Windows operating system, a reliable method is to utilize the system file checker. Search for command prompt from the start menu and right click to run it as administrator. Type sfc forward slash scan now and press enter. Wait for the process to complete, then restart your computer. If the system file checker fails to repair system files or locate your missing DLL files, we can turn to a tool called DISM, which stands for Deployment Image and Servicing Management. While it might not be completely effective, it does have the ability to work some magic. Here's how it works. Firstly, load command prompt again as administrator. Enter the command DISM forward slash online forward slash cleanup image forward slash restore health and press enter. Wait for it to finish and restart your computer. A virus or malicious software has the ability to disguise itself as a DLL file. To ensure the smooth functioning of your applications, we suggest conducting a comprehensive device scan with a reputable and trusted antivirus software that gives you the ability to scan and identify all potential causes for any issues that might arise. Once you successfully eliminate the virus or malware, you can expect your DLL issues to be resolved. But make sure your antivirus software is always up to date as this will allow you to prevent potential system issues from recurring in future. If you think you're encountering this error due to an installed application or software, then it makes removing the error warning relatively easy. Firstly, head back to the control panel and choose programs and features from the options. Locate the program or application that's causing the issue and uninstall it. Finally, restart your computer and reinstall the software from the official website. Have you ever wondered how an operating system manages to keep track of all its operations? The registry is an essential component of every version of Windows, but if there are any registry errors, they can have an impact on the operating system. The system stores all the information and settings and contains information about your hardware and software. This database stores the preferences of multiple users too, so whenever a user makes a change to any of the settings, the registry keeps a record of it. This includes software installations, control panel settings, files and their properties, and a whole lot more. And with that, there's also the possibility 
possibility that incorrect details could also be concealed somewhere in all that data, which could be caused by application errors, incomplete installations or uninstallations, configuration conflicts and more. Registry issues can have a negative impact on the performance of your computer too, and as a result you might start encountering errors such as the DLL files being missing. If you've accidentally deleted your DLL files by mistake or they've been compromised by malware, you can recover them using Wondershare Recoverit, a powerful data recovery tool. Here's how it works. Firstly, download Wondershare Recoverit. It's available for both Windows and Mac operating systems, so choose the one that's right for you. Once it's installed, load the application and select the partition or drive where the missing files were originally located. Once the scan is complete, Wondershare Recover It will display a list of all found files. Locate your missing DLL files from the results and click on the Recover button to restore those files. In conclusion, missing DLL files can be a common source of frustration for Windows users. These errors can lead to various system malfunctions and application issues. However, with the right tools and methods, you can effectively resolve missing DLL file problems and restore your system's functionality. We appreciate you watching and encourage you to leave any comments or questions you have in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more useful videos just like this one, and I'll see you next time.